Hello everybody, this is Dr. Vani and on behalf of Vedantu, I want to wish each and every one of you a very happy Women's Day. Here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them and may we raise them. Our country India since time immemorial has produced really tough, strong, resilient, powerful women. Women who shared a vision, women who had it in them to walk shoulder to shoulder with the men of this great nation, taking all of us forward. Right from Anandi Bai Joshi, the first Indian physician who went all the way to US to get a degree, who got a medical degree from the United States of America. Like for example, Kalpana Chawla, who captured the essence of India and its imagination like no one else who catapulted our dreams right into space and heralded a new era not only for India, Indian men but also Indian women. From queens like Ahalya Bai Holkar of Indore and Rani Lakshmi Bhai of Jhansi who inspire countless, countless, countless men and women even today. Women who were very progressive and way ahead of their times and who proved that women can also be, if not more, as strong as any man. Then there were Indian women like Aarti Saha, the long distance swimmer, the first Indian woman ever to cross the English Channel. There were also extremely spirited women like Aruna Asaf Ali, a freedom fighter and the woman leader of Quit India movement who showed the metal of resilience and spirit of Indian women to the Britishers. I'm sure along with me, you will be greatly motivated by the first Indian woman teacher of modern India, Adhyapika. Yes, you got it right. Jinke naam ke upar aaj ke Pune University kehlati hai. Savitri Bai Phule Pune University. This woman along with her husband went on to become one of the first teachers of modern India and inspired countless women to break the shackles of the society which held them at that time and move ahead and make a place for themselves in the world. While talking about all these women, I get greatly inspired. At the same time, we can never ever forget the contribution of Razia Sultan to strong Indian women, the first ever Empress of India and till date the only Indian woman ruler. Aren't all these women really great, stoic, they stood for what is right. They stood for you, my dear children, as much as they stood for me. They led the path for all of us. They are like these shining lights in the vast ocean who guide us, inspire us. These are the women who motivate us to get up every single day, put our best foot forward and make sure we accomplish all our dreams and desires. Because it's not anything like this is something that a man can do or this is something that a woman can do. Every single thing in this world is something that a human can do. And if anybody can do it, we women can do it just like them. From Bachindri Pal who conquered the Mount Everest to Indira Nui who made sure that the entire world looks up to her as the CEO of PepsiCo. From Saina Nehwal to Sanya Mirza, each of these women made sure that their names will forever be written in golden when it comes to the history of great women in India. From P.T. Usha to the Fogart sisters, from Priyanka Chopra Kangana Ranaut to Deepika Padukone, from teachers to homemakers, from bankers to factory workers, from women who drive auto rickshaws to women who drive taxis, from those women who come to our homes to clean our homes and fetch garbage. Each and every woman out there is inspirational because she wants to excel in whatever field she chooses because she is out there to prove that she can too. And then there are these gutsy women like squadron leader Minty Agarwal because she was the eyes of Wing Commander Abhinandan when he was striking the jet which had come into India. To all these women, Vedantu makes sure that we salute the spirit of being a woman. Vedantu salutes 
each and every girl who's watching this lecture. Vedanta salutes each and every boy also who's watching this lecture. Because it's you, my dear children, who will take the spirit of this one day and make sure that this spirit moves on to 365 days because it is not enough. One day is not enough to celebrate the spirit of being a woman. To all your mothers for having such beautiful children who are the future of our great nation. To every woman out there who is living her dream. To every woman out there who is not living her dream because of any constraint. To every woman who is working. To every woman who is staying at home. To every single one of you. And to all the women in your life. Here's the way that we're wishing you all a very, very happy Women's Day. The women in your life are a constant reminder of all things beautiful in your life. Make sure you love them, respect them and don't take care of them because they are so capable of taking care of their own selves. Bye kids, I hope you enjoyed this small motivational message for each one of you. Happy, happy, happy Women's Day. Bye.